This is Tea Time One Plus TV Africa. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's yeah. good. I'm right. I'm right. Mm. You. <laughs> we need another show for just behind the scenes. We've said this over the right thing. Maybe know. we should just go, go right at, at it and just do it. Let's do mm. it already. Mm. 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 Put like another camera there. Mm. Or let's just get the cameras rolling and then we can use it for Trust me, the camera media. was rolling. Yeah, so we can, just put it on, <laughs> we can just put it on social media and let's entertain it, I guess, BTS. Mm. Mm. Okay, we'll look into that. We will. Okay, so um, Kanye West has reportedly dropped out of the United States presidential race less than two weeks after announcing that he would run. And my own question is, <coughs> were you for taking him as a serious candidate before? You know, I wasn't until I saw Until they the, said they dropped out a bit? Yeah, until I saw the statement of the strategy, campaign strategies, and mm. I was like, this man was actually serious. He had 180 people, volunteers so as well, out? that were, you know, already working on something. Um, and they were trying to get Florida. And when he mentioned those states, then I realized that, okay, maybe he was actually onto something because when he made that statement, Florida and I can't remember, California, no, it wasn't California. Florida and somewhere else has still had opening spots for possible. So he was going to use so, just two states to win. I used to say to enter the race, at least. <laughs> so, I mean, that was very interesting. I think it kind of even made me... I don't know. I don't know how to put it the nice way, but he's a bit more crazy than I thought. Cause I thought he just left it at <laughs> social media and was ranting. But the fact that he actually went as far as hiring people and uh, like, dude was actually serious about this. That's wild. I want proof of those hired today. Mm. That's another angle. Mm -hmm. mm, me, I'm just wondering why he step down from the race because I actually wish he was in the race. Even if he, I, um, we all knew that he wasn't going to win or he didn't have a chance of winning, it would have been some nice, you know, distraction from all the... We started to introduce him as rapper and uh, presidential <laughs> And gospel singer. Gosp and pastor. He's not, not a pastor. It's not Officially. Easy. Like no, he's a prophet or something. Yeah, something similar to that. But he I'm has sure. God calling. Yeah, mm. he has a calling. Mm. So, you know, it would have been a nice distraction from the old Donald Trump, Biden, old seriousness mm. going on. You so know, you wanted a like, distraction? Yeah, I just, well, I just wanted something mm. to take it all away. And then he had a, a good manifesto, you know. I wanted mm. to see how he was going to end racism because he said it was that going was to end. That was his manifesto. No, that was By one of the things. By wearing a hat that says, um, um, make America great again, that literally symbolizes and why and, well, th and thinking away that COVID-19 is about 66. Yeah. Well, he threw that heart away <laughs> um, earlier this year. And um, it's not the only one that thinks COVID-19 signifies um, something different from what it is. So, But that mindset is not supposed to become yeah, the president. That, yeah. Well, don't, if that's the case, should Donald Trump be the president? Mm, Donald Trump is a different type of idiot, but... okay. I think I think they're just <laughs> as bad. I don't think it would have been good for him to run. I think it would have been very detrimental, especially with the black community. I think it will have splitted the only option we have in putting out. I say we like I'm American. The only option they have in putting out <laughs> Trump, and I, I'm I'm guessing the majority of people in America right now, including the, the um, cons of, uh, conservative, yeah, but there's another Republicans, yes, including the Republicans, also feel like you know this is something that they also want to do well, some of them. So, so you think Donald Trump wants to win if he runs again? I don't know, but I just knew that Kanye West would have not made that Biden a lot clearer. Biden is leading clearer. presently, though. So. Uh, that, will, that is Get the, to the changes. Polls first, yeah. Yeah, let's see how that okay, uh, moving on. So Nollywood actor John O'Carfo, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, is probably the newest COVID yacht in town, as he says coronavirus does not exist in Nigeria. In a chat with The Nation, the actor said, and I quote, we are not supposed to be involved in this COVID-19. I see no reason why he sh we should be involved. Only Nigerians in the diaspora will have to partake in this devilish program. We at home, and we at home are oblivious. We are not supposed to be involved in any ceremony in trying to pretend or trying to avoid. My brother, COVID-19 or 20 is not here. I don't care. Why would China give us sickness and America embellish the technicality and then sell it to the world and people now begin to die when they know it's killing? Thank God we have hot weather. The thing saved the fields. End of quote.
<laughs> Can't you just have a moment to silence? <laughs> what? Is he talking about an illness? Mm-hmm. It sounds like something else, like the A technical. It sounds. It sounds like he's talking about something else. You know what always baffles me about illiteracy is that. Oh. It, 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 <laughs> the what really baffles me is that they still look out for knowledge. You know, you've had to have read up on this. You've had to have gone out of your way to find information. So it's not that you can't reason or you can't seek um, truth. It's that you're going out of your way to digest nonsense. Because the way he explained this thing, I swear to you, I first started thinking, actually this is ill, because I was thinking, how does a virus first move from China, and then Chinese people will agree with the American government, and the American government will now put some technicalities around it, and then sell it to the world, and like, are we still talking about an illness here that's contagious, are we talking about like, like, I don't know, like a person, or a tool, I or a box, or something? I heard this explanation, like, something that I heard from a beer parlor, you know, it's while drinking, I didn't think it was hearing this explanation. <laughs> I didn't see uh, in beer well, as in, oh, while drinking, Drinking, I just feel like it's not something that you would hear when sane people are talking. You know, mm. people that are not intoxicated. I could hear, I could hear different brands of alcohol speaking. Wow. Was, yeah, like I was like, no, no, bro. That, <laughs> okay, that, I, 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 could, I could even point. No, no, no that, that, that's hey, that's <laughs> just James. You know, <laughs> I want to sound like someone we all know now, and I'm going to say, guys, 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 <laughs> coronavirus is real, <laughs> and you have to believe it today. today. <laughs> So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> People are dying. I mean, we lost lost our um, is it chief of staff, yeah, mm. um, Abba Kiari to this one. We've lost um, Ajimobi to Ajimobi, this one. Yeah. We've lost. I mean, we can count and lose count. I mean, when you have numbers of people going to close to a thousand deaths, then. I mean, they are not statistics. They are human mm. beings with families. And unfortunately, he's saying he's not heard of anyone who has died from coronavirus. I don't know if he's talking about him having a personal contact or he's not hearing the news or something. Mm. I don't know. But this is not the kind of um, content that should be amplified at this time. Have you also noticed a trend here? It seems like actors are beginning to over... Um, connect with their roles <laughs> that they act <laughs> because the last time we were talking about hakim and hakim was really aggressive now mm. he's beating his wife in real life mm. we have a man who's who is an idiot in, in movies in the, in and in now movies. he's a covid idiot do you understand what i'm saying like yeah. i'm seeing a pattern here guys and I, I i'm worried actors forget the script after you say cut drop it mm-hmm. <laughs> use your head <laughs> Behave. Because I can't, I can't even take this thing serious. I think when it first came out, and I was saying things like this, I was, I really vexed for the Uber driver that says there's no coronavirus, and I really try and like spend it's a lot brain. of time. But now it's just like completely ridiculous. Like I can't even take you seriously. Like of course, if you really wanted to find out, just ask a few people. Mm-hmm. You would know that there's a virus. Either you know somebody who survived it, who has or an know experience, someone who knows someone. And then the fact that he thinks that you're just gonna see um, victims of coronavirus in regular hospitals, mm-hmm. like have you been to an hospital and they said this person has corona ulam. And I'm wondering, like, do you, have you heard and of this isolation guy is, center? He's <laughs> an ambassador to. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, let me not start dragging. Don't don't, don't drag him into that. No, no, no. I'm not dragging him. I was going to... He's already been dragged already. I was going to drag the people he's ambassador. (laughs) Whatever it is. But what I'm saying is a message to those people because I'm trying not to call your name and I will not call your name. This is the high time for you to separate ties with mindsets like this because I don't understand how I would be using a product that is being pushed Mm. by someone with this mindset when people are Mm. dying. Mm. Like, people are dying. That's the point here. Don't severe ties, just just what? Educate him. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, tea time continues right after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm-hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from 
My love, we like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tuesday Time on Plus TV Africa. Yul Edoche speaks on equality between men and women. He said, and I quote, the man heads the home, but I believe that if a man and a woman put in same amount of work, they should get same pay. If properties are being shared in families, women should get same share with men. Yeah. Some culture say they don't give properties to women. That's total crap to me. End of mm. quote. Mm. I hear him. I agree. I don't know why he had to start with the man is the head of the home. Like, must you, must you sleep in a dose of patriarchy <laughs> into your conversation uh, before you make your point? Um, I, I don't know. I felt the sex acting, but you know what? Mm. You can have the head. Mm. As long as I get the full pay, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. If you're going to call yourself the head, and that makes you sleep better at night, oh, your ego is yeah. nice and it's comfortable, but I'm getting equal pay, I, you can have the head, sir. You can have it. <laughs> Um, but it was that very interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting to see the what responses. You can whatever guys. head you want. That's mm. talking about Any you can head. have it. <laughs> Any kind. <laughs> it was head interesting to fish. see the feedback. You know, sometimes when people mock e feminists mm -hmm. and mock all these people, like you, you begin to think that maybe we're doing too much. But then, mm -hmm. if you see the people that are on the internet, you realize that e feminists are very important. Some mm -hmm. people were cursing him. That's really yeah. That's why on earth would you say that? There's a screenshot. But I don't know if I'm allowed to read it because I haven't put it on my story. Like this is the reason why I know that there is a need for these people to actually, um, you know, have like police these people pretty much like backlash and say that this this opinion isn't something that we want. So they were raining curses on him that wow. his father would be very disappointed wow. and that if he doesn't actually will his. Um, his properties. properties to his daughter then blah 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 basically he's saying that I can't, they can't even imagine that that he's talking rubbish and he's doing all of that type of stuff and they were well, really going at it you won't i mean bringing his father into this conversation remember it's his father who said that um a man should not propose. kneel down to propose mm. to it that means well, I don't he's understand. giving are they dragging his... yule for this post yes mm. but he said he's fighting for equalities you know mm. well the, his fellow men are dragging him for saying this so that that's rubbish that so how can you say that there should be um what's the word equal pay equal Wow. I can mm. read it for you if you want. What type of men are those? Mm. They are exist sure and there are a lot of them and it's kind of <laughs> Jesus, are sure they are men. scary. <laughs> the animals. I don't God think they are me. men because <laughs> in, in this age and time, if people still feel like women don't deserve to be paid for their ad work. Mm. If I even see a woman working harder than I am and she's getting more paid than I am getting paid, then by all means, because yes, you've earned it. So everyone, if I see a child earning way more than I am, and he actually worked for it. By all means, okay, well, you earned I mean, it. I, I, I agree to that, but it's not that simple, because if the, the true patriarchal men know that they'll be affected by this, okay? So if you say that we're going to pay, have equal pay, what that would mean, realistically speaking, is that you're going to earn less for me to be able to earn the same as you. A lot of the times, when oppression works, <clears throat> or when someone has excessive power, somebody is being oppressed. And for you to elevate that, then you are reducing the power that they have. Some people don't want that. The head of the home that he's holding on to is so that he can have the utmost power to execute that. So if I say to him now, as I, let's say, God, God forbid, we're interested in each other, and I say to you, <laughs> I want to be a partner, but I also want to be able to make decisions for myself. So meaning, you have half head, or, you know, you're not, maybe, maybe I'm also the neck or something, whatever he wants to use to describe that. The He's going to have nice. a problem nice. with that, mm -hmm. because then he won't be able to make all the necessary... He won't be able to be the head. Exactly. So that's why people are backlashing. Then the shoulder is better. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the neck. Or be, let me... The rib. How do you say Neck. <laughs> rib. What's, what's his rib? Rib of what? Missing rib. Missing Fishy. rib. I, I <laughs> freaking hate that, that Okay, expression. so I mean, I, so I, I, I agree with you. I agree with I found him. my missing rib. I'll, no, I got that's my a neck. Ton of... I'm, your, I'm your half head. I'm your <laughs> left brain. I'm... <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know for um, you to me made a lot of sense personally. I don't know what men would have a, an issue with whatever it posted. And um, yeah, I think that beginning was kind of we don't always have to put some things. Mm -hmm. You get some things should just be like I hate it when people state the obvious. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like you already know it is part of your culture. You like mm -hmm. to call yourself the head. Why mm -hmm. you doing a write up and saying? Um, I am um, even though a man is doesn't mm. even just make be any a responsible sense. head and you'll be recognized as one. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. And these heads, they drop it when they enter the kitchen. I wish they could also be the heads with the children, you know, take charge of the cooking and the feeding. Like, be the head of the relationship in every aspect. That would be really nice. I'll give you that head position. That's the case. Okay. I wanted to start an if argument. Are you the head in your relationship? I, I want... What? Are you the head in your relationship? Obviously. Okay. Obviously. Do I look like a guy who won't be the head? No, I thought you were headless. I didn't know there was a head. No, I, think I just wanted to know if I look like the guy who would take, never written on take face responsibilities for my actions. Is that what being the, the head thing. means? Yeah, I, I have to. I take responsibility so, ladies, for what I, I don't do. Take responsibility and but you know what? I won't even say there's. A, I think I would say we 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 share things equally because in as so much. So you're not the head anymore. Relax your mind. I would. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we share things, even though yeah, she would refer anymore. to me as the. Okay, head. so you swap heads sometimes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I like Thank that. you very mm. much. Yeah, swap we heads. swap. Yeah, we do. Ah, that's that's the God. best. Mm. Way you to both wear the it. pants. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and at least we move on. Sometimes I wear the J-strings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maturity. And it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay to own it. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So you wear J-strings? Sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. Not. Are you <laughs> sure? Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, no, 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 no. We need to make oh, it. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. You are digging the ground hey, 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 and hey, you're going hey, deeper hey, and deeper. Hey, okay. hey, hey, we need to make this not like literally wear g-strings are you but sure in my relationship right. sometimes i wear the g-strings what sometimes does that even mean since we want to have that conversation what does it mean to okay wear i wear the skirt are you happy what does it mean does it mean that when what you wear the skirt then it means your brain is not working completely no that's not or what you it don't means. have the brain to have make a decision anymore or, sometimes i let her take responsibility which is why i'm saying just put it that way don't say you wear what the woman wears because you are now letting her take oh, responsibility no, no, no. You're trying we can to wear now. our no, skirt and wear our g-strings Take this and out of context, but I everybody knew exactly who is everybody? What it was that it was a joke. <laughs> the viewers, you may you may not have gotten it, but I'm sure the like viewers I said, got the joke. Into it. <laughs> yeah, going deeper. Shall let's go to the next story. Okay. Who is cool. digging? It's you and you're inside. Digging. We're covering I'm you like <laughs> I'm, I'm in a very shallow grave right now because okay. I'm just gonna step out and I'm out. Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> okay, cool. So maturity is when you break up with your girlfriend. And you still give her money whenever she asks and take care of her until she finds another boyfriend. It's coming from a rapper, you got money. So, it's a simple question. Maturity True or false? I'm supposed to go. <laughs> if I don't agree, this no, is a man totally like you. I'm sure he's the head of his relationship. <laughs> I totally do not agree to this. Why not? Because, uh, if you have it. Well, I feel, okay, it, it's possible. It's something, it, this shouldn't be like. A big deal. No, this shouldn't be mandatory it's of not course, like it's not mandatory. no it's not like this is what i would use to show maturity that's not mm. the way to coin it so yeah so, that, so with that with that said well, then your answer is false that maturity <laughs> is not that's the question isn't it hmm? the question is it maturity is whatever whatever, whatever. maturity it's a maturity so yeah when? true or false so you would say that that's false that that's not maturity if no, it's like, if it's going through jam I'm, lesson I'm not, right I'm now, not going, I'm not going to put the maturity in it. Maturity. That's the question it has, that I'm you not, said. and I'm ignoring this question, oh, okay, and I'm okay. telling you that I'm taking out the maturity. But I'm going to look at it from this context of mm. um, if the breakup is amicable, mm. like we both know why we're leaving. It's mm. obviously not working, and um, because um, probably I'm, I was training you. You, um, I was training you, paying for your education and all of mm. that. And then suddenly we both had mm. an amicable breakup that, okay, this relationship is not working, but mm. I will be there for you. Mm. Do you understand? Then that's mm. fine. Mm. Okay. That is absolutely mm. beautiful. Mm. Okay. I mean, obviously, everyone will agree to that. Especially, it, it really depends on how you break up. Um, but I would say, again, I don't like this tone. I know poverty is our problem. I've said so. I've said on the table many times that Nigeria's problem is poverty because this type of conversation anywhere else would be so irky. Describing a woman like that, like a child, sounds like a child, God forbid, that has lost their parents and now if I don't want to hand responsibility, then I need to give it to somebody else because God forbid there's nobody else to look out for her, then she would she not be able to herself. survive. Because it sounds like I have to hold, I have to take care of you financially before I give another man to take care of you because you can't take care of yourself. Is that what's happening here because women this in your mind you might think that you're gaining financial whatever and i get that things are hard but is it worth the trade of you know getting financial gains and actually not meaning much to this to these people like in terms of like your values and your integrity i think it's a very demeaning way to talk about someone even with children you wouldn't find someone tweeting this like that so it's really irky to me the way it sounds but in the way that you made it sound really palatable that's very different 
Um, but at the end of the day, my goal, I guess, with my, as a feminist, is that you don't, uh, you're not in a situation where you need to be passed down to another boyfriend to have financial um, stability. Like, I hope that that's, it's not your dream, lady, because it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's definitely embarrassing. I think one thing I have told myself and I will tell every other person is be able to make enough to take care of your needs, your day-to-day -day living, whatever standard you've chosen yeah. for mm. yourself, make sure you are in that position to take care of it. The extras. The extras. I live for the extras. Oh, yeah. I the mean, we love nice. the extras. Yeah. And they would always come. Whether some men do their face like this <laughs> or like this, <laughs> it's... <laughs> I'm lost. It will always come. Yeah. So, but make sure you're doing something. You're aspiring for something mm. way bigger, like if Elmay has said. Make sure you you're just enough for yourself. Yeah. Like be enough as a human being, and not, not don't become that project that needs to be passed around or to be helped until mm. you see another boyfriend or another investor. Mm. <laughs> what I call it is an investment yeah, now because like, if you're in that situation, then that investment is probably not going to yield anything mm. in life. So I think we should um, sit up and um, work towards being financially um, stable as women and of course, don't let go of the extras. If I do you want to say it? Mm. It is well. It amen, amen, well. amen, it amen. Well. amen. <laughs> Moving on, finally, media personality Dotson has taken to Twitter to share his experience of growing up in a deeper life family. From being banned from watching television, being banned from having friends that wear trousers and earrings, to singing songs like Trust and Obey, you know, I know you know that song, and not allowed to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. He, however, admits that that type of training he received um, trained him, kept him grounded, grounded in today and made him realize that vanity is a distraction. Mm. Uh. I would describe the exact same. So I was born into deeper life home. I actually only got my piercings as a teenager, and my auntie stole me from my mom. Banche. See your head. <laughs> and deeper life child. Yeah, so oh I grew up, I, we grew up there. I think my brothers would probably be a lot more, you know, aware of this experience. But I have to say, though, mm -hmm. um, they... Okay, I'm not going to focus on the extremities, but I think deeper life really offers a level of intellectual understanding of the Bible that, that a lot of other um, denominations do in Nigeria. They're not very driven by, oh, the feeling and rolling on the floor and all that dramatics. They really take the time to um, get you to dive deep inside of it. I would, I would like if there was a way for them to achieve more balance because I'm pretty sure for him to sound like that, he's gotten out of it because people who are in it are, no, are not... No, he's still grounded. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could find a balance with being... But gotten out teaching of what, that exactly? ground Because I think even the, the whole of Deeper Life have gotten out of it because they watch television now. Mm -hmm. They have a TV uh, station. Some of them. So they some have... Some of got, them. So they, who they, is watching? How do they watch them? See, yeah, in, in, that, in, in that church, in mm -hmm. that movement, there is extremes in the extreme. Mm -hmm. There's some people that would cut off the ends of their lace because it's too pretty till mm. tomorrow and there's some people that would even relax their hairs or whatever okay maybe not relax it. i don't well, think I they're that bold. but there's people their, who are yeah, yeah. there's people who are still and even there's a, a controversy about the family themselves because they've had one boy that was rebellious let's not make it about that but mm -hmm. i would have, i would have liked if they had some at least for the christian movement they would, i'd like if they had that same level of influence to keep people grounded without being so extreme. extreme. Yeah. I think I would that like would be that. Nice. We have to go. If I do want to wrap up. Um, quickly, I just want to say that I think a lot of parents did a very good job with this type of experience. Deeper life or no deeper life. I didn't grow up in a deeper life home, but I had a similar experience. But you watch TV? No, not the TV thing, okay. like cutting you off from friends with tattoos or mm, hearings yeah. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Well, you can say, look and at now him you're, now. You're but, <laughs> but, but no, but at the end of the day, it was what trained us to be who we are today. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a better experience, even though sometimes we wanted to taste more than we could. But yes, okay. we, and of course, we, we definitely it. appreciate our parents for keeping us grounded. Yeah. And I hope that other parents or upcoming parents, mm. is, so, is there something like that, mm. can also do the same job. But that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also use the numbers already on your screen to send us a WhatsApp message. And of course, we'll definitely look at them. Um, remember to catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, will go to my interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshankeye, yeah, yeah. and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Post TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please, please, please do stay safe. <laughs>